Today we're going to be drawing a landscape drawing. We're focusing on things in our foreground, our midground, and our background. The foreground is what's closest to us. So when we draw something on our paper that's close to us, we're going to draw it really big. It also will have a lot more detail. Then something in our middle ground is a little bit further away, so we draw it smaller. And it doesn't have as much detail. It's a little higher up on our paper. And then our background are, has the objects that are the farthest away, so we draw them really small. We'll be drawing three or four trees, some mountains, and a little pond for our project. For the landscape drawing, you're going to need a pencil and some crayons or colored pencils. First thing I need you to do is put your name on the back and then you'll flip it over. Now we want to show where the sky and the earth meet. That's called our horizon line. You're going to make not a completely straight line across your paper because if it was straight, it, that means that the ground outside is as flat as the floor. We also put it about halfway up on our paper. Then, if I want to draw the tree close to me, I need to draw it really big and start lower on my paper and end towards the top. So to start it, let's make a really big number 11. Really big number 11. At the bottom, show where the grass is, crazy zigzag line. Now my tree is not see-through, so I want to erase that little line going through my tree. If you don't have an eraser, we can just color over it later. At the top, these two lines. One line comes out, like a letter Y. The other line comes out, and it's going to go the whole way off my page because it's so big. The letter V. So now we add thickness to our branches, and then a smiley face on the end. That doesn't really look like a tree. We still have to add leaves. So what I want you to do is starting on your tree. Remember, this is going to be so big we don't see the whole tree. And go poof, 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 poof off of my page. And then on the other side, we can show a branch up here by making a number 11 and then smiley faces. Maybe there's a branch over here. Wherever you want to put it. A tree that's a little further away. It's not going to be this big, but a little smaller. So we make a smaller number 11. Crazy zigzag. Erase, because our tree's not see through. Line comes out, line comes out like a Y. A letter V. face, smiley face. Now this one's not going to be as big as our first one because it's further away. Poof, 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 poof. Add a few more if you want. Just peeking through. Now have a tree really far away. I'm going to make it almost a piece, the size of a piece of broccoli. So I'm going to do number 11, poofiness, and then that's all. It's so far away we can't see all the detail. You can also make a pine tree, the ones that look like a triangle, but to show that it has kind of the spiky pines on them, I'm going to just shake my hand as I make that triangle. Number 11, and we're good. In the background, if I want to show a mountain, mountains that we live in between aren't super pointy. So I want them to be curved. Think of a roller coaster. Starting on the ground, click, 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 curve, ah, little curve. I don't go the whole way down. Pick my pencil up, put my pencil about here, go up, curve, down. Next one. And the whole way across. I don't draw through my tree. The tree's not see-through. I think we need one more thing down here. So in the middle at the bottom, make a dot. 
on this side, make a dot. If we want to show pond or water, I kind of want to do a wavy line. We're not going to see that full pond. What I've had kids draw in the past is like this with a circle and a fish. That doesn't, that reminds me more of a puddle. So in this pond, you can make a fish. You can make a little ducky like I'm going to. Or whatever you want. Or you just leave it as water. After you have all of this drawn, we're going to start to add color. Use colored pencils or crayons. And we're going to start with things in our background. So that's the things that are farthest away. We're going to draw color of the sky first. So all of this back here is the sky. Not just a strip of blue at the top. All of this is the sky. To start with the sun. Big frowny face. Starting with yellow. And I'll zoom in. Color in. Make sure not to go in your mountains, just around them. Cover up all that white space for as much as you can. Then, still going to take that yellow and go a little crazy around it. So it's like it's almost shiny. But we're not drawing our sun like this, with a circle and some lines hanging off. If we draw it with different colors, it's going to look more real. After the yellow, we're going to go to orange next. Have my orange touch my yellow. Go all around. What do you think would be next after orange? Some red. Then let's get violet and let's get blue out. So the violet would be after the red, the whole way around. So it touches my mountains, comes around, 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 around. Goes behind my tree, touches my mountains. Now all of this is still the sky. So I'm going to color it blue. Have it come down, touch my ground. Violet in there. If you have a lighter blue or a different color of blue shade, you can get that other shade of blue in there. Then I missed a spot. I missed right here. That's still the sky. Not down here. This is the grass. But this little area right here, that's still the sky. So I have to color that in. those away. For your mountains, you can choose brown, gray, green. It's up to you. I'm going to use gray this time. I'm going to color in my mountains. Take my time. Don't color my grass yet. We'll do that in a little bit. And we're going to make these mountains look more real. Those just look kind of plain and flat. To make them look more real, I'm going to start at the top, press really hard with my crayon, get darker gray, and do kind of a zigzag on the top. I had someone tell me before it looked like a volcano, which I guess it kind of does. But volcanoes are mountains, pretty much. It's harder. Do a zigzag. Get a little 
crazy with it. All right. Next, we're going to color our trees. I'm going to get my brown out. I'm going to get some black, some green. For my tree, way far away, that little piece of broccoli tree, my pine tree. I'm going to color that in. Add the brown. We don't see a lot of detail. Now, this tree's closer. We could probably see more of the bark. So I'm going to trace this. Add some wavy lines to show bark in the texture. Use some black. Show a couple wavy lines with the black. And I still need to color it in with brown, but I don't want to press really hard. Just lightly color in. And our last tree. Maybe in this tree there's a little critter living in it. Texture with my brown with wavy lines. Black, maybe there's a hole in the tree. And then I'll take my brown again and color all of that in. Alright, tops of my trees. I'm going to get a couple shades of green. And then if I want to be fall time, I'm also grabbing my warm colors. So in this one, if I want this tree to be kind of fall time. Or actually, let's just make, I'm going to make mine green. So I'm going to color it all the same green. But notice I have a really bright green here too. I can mix those colors. That way it makes it more interesting and I cover up more of the light in the picture. This one I'm gonna make fall colors. So maybe I have some green in here, some orange. Red. And there's my fall tree. Now, for the water, I'm going to use blues and violets. And for my blue, maybe a different shade of violet. Trace my water line. Maybe make some wavy lines in there. We're pressing harder. Mix some colors in there. Color my ducky. thing to do would be grass. When I color my grass, remember, not just up here is grass. This isn't my only grass. I need to bring it the whole way down to the bottom of my paper. I'm going to graze it with that grass at the bottom of my tree. Graze and zigzag. I'm going to color it all in green. I'm even going to mix my light green with it because I think it's going to make my paper look even better. And it covers up the white.
experiment with mixing colors. See what works best for you. I can't wait to see them.